Hi. How are you doing? I'm very well. How are you? Good. I'm good. Thank you. Um, so Vince is from Kinetic Workplace Design and he's agreed to be my guinea pig for the first 10 minutes with to find out much more about our partners from the office management portal that we work together with and we present to our members to share um, useful contacts that you will probably need in your office at some point in time. Um, so Vince, do you want to tell us a little bit about you and Kinetic to start off with? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. basically we're uh, a complete uh, interior design uh, fit out and furniture company. Uh, we also offer a, a full re re relocation service, uh, decom recom service, uh, but primarily we specialise in uh, the interior design of your office space, uh, project management, the whole fit out and uh, furniture procurement and supply and installation, basically. So that's yeah. the, the whole, the whole turnkey operation. The whole shebang. The whole shebang, hopefully. And can you remember how or when we first met? Because we've was, known each other for a long time now. Yeah, yeah. What was it? Was it 2015? Uh, was it 2015? I think it was possibly even before then. Because, it... yeah, because so I'm going by boyfriends. <laughs> 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 and I wasn't with Martin then and I was with Martin in 2015 and right. I set up black and white in 2016 so right. it would have right. been 2012 2013 yeah. yeah yeah so almost 10 years blimey that's yeah that's gone, quick. That's gone really quick it has but I, I remember it it was a uh, I've been on several appointments in London that afternoon, and uh, my colleague I was with at the time said, oh, yeah, we've, we've got one more appointment, so we try and squeeze in on, on the Friday, and it was about 5.30 on Friday, yeah. and uh, London was really busy at the time, obviously, you know, pre-COVID, uh, 10 years ago, <laughs> um, but yeah, it was, it was, I mean, you show this around all the areas to do with the office, and there was a lot to take in, Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, I remember thinking, my God, it's it's, uh, it's yeah. This is a whirlwind. There's, there's, there's so much to think about here and, uh, and to take in. So we had to come back for a, a full day, uh, the following week, I think. And that, yeah. And that's when we had a proper sit down. And but did we go for drinks that night? Did we just say sod it? Let's just go and have a drink. Was it that think, night, or did we go later? At another I think. Time? I think it was the second visit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> because because I so this was a project where my company that I was working for at the time had moved uh, was merging with another business and they were going to move into our offices That's and it. there was all these different phases of work including building toilets and showers on the floor so yeah. figuring out where the stack was and all that sort of stuff and then I left <laughs> I left the company halfway through yeah halfway through really. yeah, halfway through. <clears throat> yeah. Right. yeah but that was fun and we did go for drinks and we did yeah. we did have a good time and got rather drunk didn't we so yeah 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 that, that, that was a yeah i remember that that particular meeting we um <clears throat> i was waiting in reception and i think you must have had a really bad or really i did yes. just before me so you came out into reception i was waiting to sort of go in and have a look at some more things on site and you said no so that we're going to go and we went across the couch and had a and it was a sunny afternoon. It, it was, uh, yeah. it was a Friday, Friday yeah. afternoon, wasn't it? Sunny Friday yeah. afternoon. And I was like, no, we're going out. Yeah, um, yeah the, the ability to have a senior role in a company and just be able to say, I'm, I'm going for the rest of the day and I'm going to go and drink because I'm still working. <laughs> <laughs> and we were, we did a lot of work. So oh, yeah, yeah, we, still, we got still, a lot sorted. But... Yeah, we still talk work anyway. So um, yeah. yeah. I'm well, much better with, with a glass of uh, Pinot Grigio in your hand. Yeah, then. yeah. And the sun though, yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, so so that's how Vince and I first met. So it has been a long time and um and you are still very much a client of theirs, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Well since that that since you left and that and that particular project came to a close, um I mean that was quite that was I think it took it was six months on site because we mm. We worked phase by phase clockwork around the building. It was twenty five thousand square feet, so it's you know it's a, a, a big floor plate. Um, but there was a lot of um, intense work in terms of working out the moves for each particular changeover weekend. Um, you know, we had fit out uh, teams on site 
furniture removal teams, furniture uh, install going on. I mean, we must have had 35, 40 guys on site every move weekend. Mm. And, that, and that was every six to eight weeks doing the yeah. contract. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that, that, that completed. And then um, a year and a half, was it two years later? Two years later, um, they, they called again and said, um, we're on the move. <laughs> I said, well, <laughs> can't be. Because we've only just finished the last project. And, uh, and they said, yep, we're on the move. And um, I think it was the lease. Uh, was, yeah, because I remember because they had a 10-year lease. So when That's you it. told me you were doing you were doing the project with them, I yeah. remembered the date, you know, as I do, the specific end date of the lease. And I think they had a six-month notice period on it as well. So, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah so. Yeah. And, uh, and then, yeah, it was a, a nice project. We were, um, basically fitted out. Uh, a new premises in St Catherine's Dock yeah. and uh, carried out the relocation as well yeah. but obviously we started designing that project in November of last year uh, well probably October actually um, and then we got to the final kind of uh, it was design and build so we were awarded the, the contract fairly early on um, and then we started on site in February of 2020 which yeah. is obviously just before Covid hit yeah um and then uh, obviously march the 23rd uh, we were actually on site that particular friday when lockdown occurred so we were off site for like five weeks um whilst you know london was dead basically um and then obviously once the covid rules have been sort of sorted out in terms of site operation and, and getting things back working on site we, we were back on site on may the 4th yeah so, um, may yeah. the 4th be with you May the fourth be with you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Luke's oh. cool. But yeah, it was, uh, yeah, um, and then we obviously carried on till August. Mm, yeah, that's when you did practical completion. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and, uh, um, and you've got some pictures, right? I'd love to see them. And, yeah. And see what, see what you, uh, what you did with the space. Yeah. Uh, for our viewers of this video to see it as well, because I think it's, I think it's one of the, the most unique designs and one of the most aesthetically pleasing designs that I think I've ever come across in an office. Oh, that's very kind. Kind. very kind. So, yeah. <laughs> and and we, hopefully now that it's on screen, anyone watching this will see why I say that and agree. Um, you know, design isn't to everybody's taste, but I think this this is just beautiful. It really is. Oh, thank you. No, I mean, it, it was a great project to work on. And the location as well, just it was just such a fantastic location to, mm. to actually see the kitchen you can see there the bottom two right uh, sorry the bottom left and the middle bottom photo uh the sun you can see coming through the windows there you've got the view overlooking tower tower bridge okay yeah. um, and it's got a sun terrace off there as well and it's just a fabulous you know as a breakout area and a, and a, and a place for staff to come and meet it was just a it was the prime spot basically as far yeah. as uh, location was concerned for that but yeah i mean the whole project was such a dream to work on that was uh, a complete floor plate eighteen thousand square feet um the whole one side of the building overlooking the thames and um yeah it was it was just a, a dream to kind of design the interior um but also based around because obviously we were still redesigning in February um, mm. because of the situation with COVID coming along and the fact that the office probably wasn't going to be occupied, first of all. Um, some of the space got turned over to more kind of informal breakout, and very sort of domestic. Like collaborative spaces. And, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 So it was, it, it was, it was very much changed around from workstation intensity to um, breakout spaces where people could go and use their laptop if they're coming into the office. Mm. say two, two or three days a week instead of five days a week um so some of the space was given up to that pretty early on and um yeah it just worked there's just some really nice areas like you see there on the top right that sort of we, we call that the, the the terror area uh it overlooks the bridge again and the did shower. you design and put the staircase in or was that already there no that that, that was already there yeah. Um, but that goes up to the turret, which you can see on the middle left photograph over here, yeah. um, which is just a meeting space, basically, on, on, on the top with panoramic views across, across London, basically. Mm, it's lovely. Um, but, and I love yeah. the plant on the bottom left picture coming through the, the breakfast bar there. Yeah, yeah, that was the client. The client was keen on getting some greenery in there. And um, we, we, we'd we been messing around with 
quite a few different mood images to try and get you know some likes and dislikes in the design early mm. on. So we came up with um, probably about forty or fifty mood images of different offices than ideas that we liked and and they liked, and that was one image that caught everyone's eye. And we said we we've got to incorporate that. That's just such a fantastic idea. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we just we were obviously design wise we were worried about. You know, was the granite strong enough? Um, you know, if, if somebody's going to lean on it, you know. Yeah. But, but actually, you can't you can't lean on it because you can't. You know, the, the tree is there anyway, so it's yeah. a natural barrier. Yeah. Um, but we we put some um, overhead gantries there. You can see on the middle bottom picture. Mm. Um, just like a restaurant look, like a really yeah. funky. Um, yeah. you know like anthologist and all these kind of that chain I can't think what they're called now but the chain in London where they've got all sorts of restaurant bars yeah and um, yeah. I used to frequent when I was younger <laughs> and um well, yeah I, was, I think I was with you at the time <laughs> probably yeah <laughs> um, Vince and I do do go on drinking trips together occasionally so when well, we're it's allowed nice, it's nice to explore the the, the 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 nice places in London isn't it it so, is yeah you've got to yeah. you've got to get out there and and see what's about in terms of um meeting spaces and bars and so on yeah. so yeah um, well there was a, there was a little bit of that in here because we wanted to um I mean, in bars, obviously, you have glasses hanging from those gantries. Mm. Uh, we've got plants, and it, it just wanted an eclectic mix of you know, different ideas, really, in, in the in the office space, just to make it a bit more homely, a bit more. The big term now is resumercial, if you banded around. Um, yeah. But it's true, you know, you've got a lot of areas there that have almost got sofas that you can have at home, and um, you know, you can see the bottom right picture there is a really nice corner sofa with a laptop table. You, can, you know, you, if you've got a 75 inch TV in front of you, that could be a lounge, couldn't they? So, yeah, Resi yeah. Marshall. I haven't actually heard that as yet. Makes Have you sense. That? I haven't, no, because ah. because I'm not as in the thick of it anymore. Um, so yeah, Resi Marshall, I like it. Yeah, yeah, like it coined it. by Kinetic, Kinetic Workplace. There, right? <laughs> <laughs> noted noted yeah. well, I mean I know you're proud of it but but you absolutely should be and do you know what the funniest thing is thank you for showing that Vince um no the funniest thing is looking at those plants is Vince and I used to have this ongoing joke whenever we were doing designs didn't we if you remember it would be stick a plant in there like I'd be like let's put a gap on the floor plan there stick a plant in there on all your designs that you do and so we'd end up with all these sort of you know, on the on the um, preconceptual drawings of just plants everywhere. Like, let's stick a plant in there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, please, yeah. Hannah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's fun. space you've got to fill it, and uh, you know, a bit of greenery goes a long way. <laughs> Absolutely, and and it it's proven because it looks fab there. So um. Yeah. yeah so, no, it, it came out right. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and and one of the things I'll never forget about you is, and I'm sure you're still doing it with clients now, is how late you work sometimes you'd email me at 1 a.m 2 a.m because you just had to get the job done um you know yeah. and and when you're doing a project as an office manager you often don't have the time yourself to do it and it's often given to you at short notice with a high demand to get it done quickly so when you have that sort of flexibility I mean a how do you do it and manage that and b you know it, 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 are you still having to do that at the moment uh, on occasion where You've just got to get get the job done. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's uh, in in this kind of industry, you've got you're very much deadline driven. Mm. So you're, you know, you go and see a client, you take a brief, you do a design. Um, that design is very much an interactive thing between you, and you, you you carry on honing it and and funneling it down to a final design. But you you tend to spend a lot of time face to face with the client. It's obviously different at the moment with Zoom and Teams and everything. But you 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 get more information and more feedback back and you get to the final design quicker if you're sitting with the client in their office just going through everything you know face to face yeah um, and you get to a much better kind of design solution by working all that together but when when you're doing that and you're out in the back during the day you don't often get time to catch up with your emails so when you get back at night you then obviously you're doing that stuff that's fresh in your mind on the on the CAD and you know obviously my background's CAD so I'm doing a lot of my own designs myself and, and, and my team as well um, but it, essentially you don't get you know you're catching up with yourself that evening and I want, I'd rather get it done while it's fresh in my mind and uh, obviously you're catching up with the daily emails as well so yeah. that's why you tend to find sometimes I, I prefer to work later 
and, and actually maybe have a bit of a lie in in the following. <laughs> <laughs> so your phone's going about eight thirty, and you're thinking, yeah. Oh, yeah, but you don't you don't come fully back alive again until probably ten o'clock because you've been you've <laughs> been working until two thirty in the morning. So yeah. you need yeah. some rest. You do absolutely. But, but your body clock changes, so yeah, it's fits and starts really because you just you just go with the flow. But you, the, the main thing is trying to get back to people quickly when they've got deadlines. Mm. You know, that's, that's yeah, the key. yeah, and and I expect is why you've retained clients like the one you've just shown us. So, so. Tell me now, if you can, please, what do you enjoy about working with office and facilities managers, if anything? And you've got to say you enjoy it because, you know. <laughs> well, it's, I, you know, it's a people thing. You know? I, I, I really enjoy meeting new people and um, I hope to think I get on with them, you know, the majority of them. And, you know, you just... Through, through doing the work together and solving the problems together, you actually get to know the person quite well. Um, mm. You know, if you, if you win a project, then you deliver that project. And we we always try and maintain the relationship. You know, you, a project isn't, once it's ended, you know, you don't go away and don't see each other for a few years. You try and keep in touch, because obviously with our in our line of business, there's always some kind of move going on or churn work or, um, some you know another couple of works. A wall that's got to go up, or one that's going to yeah. come down. Yeah, you know, so there's even always, the smallest jobs. Yeah, there's always yeah. something. So, you know, it's just trying to keep in touch. You know, on a you know a, 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 at least once a month if there's mm. something going on. But also you know, the, the the relationship side of things, you tend to you know cement that with you know you're in London for fancy meeting up for a coffee you know it, it and they become your friends in, in yeah. fact there's, there's many clients that we've dealt with over the years with Qantas and uh satellite companies that we deal with and you know I've dealt with SSTL in Guildford for probably 22 years I was talking to the guy the other day actually and mm -hmm. and, and there's a new team in place now with them and, and we're still we're still dealing with them yeah you know, 22 years later so you know and that's 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 three personal relationships over those years with different mm -hmm. people in in, yeah. the, in the role so but you know it's very difficult to maintain the client actually when you when you when you've been in client, uh, in touch with a particular uh, client for a long time and there's a change of personnel sometimes it's difficult to retain that relationship mm. with the client but mm. we've managed to do that on num a number of occasions obviously some facilities uh, people have their own favorites from previous uh, course, yeah. contacts, which yeah. you know you'd like to deal with the people you know and trust yeah. So, but yeah, we like to think we, you know, it's it's all about relationships, really, and and, yeah. and and making sure you you're just honest with people and you get things done, really. Yeah, yeah, totally. And to to wrap up our ten minutes with you, what advice, maybe just one or two pieces of advice, can you give to our members when it comes to doing a fit out or or procuring furniture, which whichever one you want to talk about. Just, I, I, uh, it's, it's a thing, um, I mean, certainly preparation because, yeah, it's making sure the brief is is good is, is one thing. Make, making sure the brief is well thought through, and um, you know, you, you you have to start with a brief, and so, and, and how sometimes briefs do evolve throughout throughout you know from, from inception to final design. You know, they're still changing, mm -hmm. but I guess preparation in that in terms of knowing what you want as objectives out of that project um you know you can talk about numbers of headcount the reasons why you're changing things around the reasons why you're relocating what you want to achieve in a new building if you are relocating um it's all those goals and and the you know, probably 10 head headline pointers that you want to achieve that's the the main basis of the of the brief and then how you how you mold the, the sub compartments of that is is probably a two-way conversation between someone like us and and, 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 and yourselves mm. it's it's um and it's, it's certainly in terms of furniture you know it's if it's if it's a relocation and there's new furniture involved that's probably an easier one if you've got existing furniture and you want to do something different um or the type of furniture you're buying if it's breakout furniture and you, you know, your workstations are sorted but you want to create different environments um yeah i, I, I think it's just there's nothing better than a, a trip around Clerkenwell, really, yeah. which, which we've done on a number of occasions. Yeah. <laughs> just 
it's, it's like a, a glorified shopping trip with a, mm. with a wine bar at the end. Please. Yeah. <laughs> if you like wine, then it's definitely worth doing. Yeah. yeah um, but, but even if not, you can you can have a coffee and, and go on the trip. Yeah. And, yeah. and you learn so much from from getting out there and seeing the product. So, yeah. 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 You, you, you learn more in a day going around somewhere like Clerkenwell. The types of furniture that you think you might you might be looking at, the, 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 the uses of that furniture um and how it will apply in your interior you know and uh mm -hmm. you know the, the the great thing we've been doing a lot of recently is um I will, could share this now but they're, they're um the 3d render side of things we, mm -hmm. we've done a, i mean everyone's supply in terms of furniture is available now in, in full kind of sketch up and uh, 3d max so we can we can quite quickly put together some renders of an, an interior that yeah. will completely transform your idea of what it's going to look like to mm -hmm. reality yeah. So yeah, we, we, we're doing a, a lot of that at the moment. Yeah, good. Matt, well, up. thank you so much. That, um, that concludes our 10 minutes with Vince from Kinetic. Ten minutes already. I, I think so. We may have gone over. I'll have to check. But, um, but uh, regardless, it's been a pleasure to catch up with you and um, oh, nice you. see your project. And yeah, and I can't wait to have another wine with you in person at some point in the future. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a long time. So. Yeah. <laughs> Thank good. you so much, Vince. And we'll share um, Vince's website and everything in the link. So if you've got any queries, you can reach out to him. And of course, he's a partner in the portal. So do feel free to contact them on there.